Hi, if you're here again, maybe God has given you wisdom, maybe from your family, maybe from your friends, or might any outsider. In this episode 7, we're going to talk about what is capacitor basically. So, capacitor is same as like an uh, inductor, but for this time, capacitor is store voltage. Not like as inductor, it stores current. There are different types of capacitor, right? It comes with various sizes, races, color, and much more. Same here as it comes to through hole component and surface mount component as well. Alright, then let's start with the electrolytic capacitor. It does look like nice candy with cylindrical shape. And it does taste sour. Okay, let's get to see inside the electrolytic capacitor. As we can see here, they got a negative charge connection and positive charge connection. Alright, we got negative and positive charge connection as inside was the dielectric metal plate surrounded by aluminium and plastic insulation. Inside the dielectric film on the aluminium part, it got uh, separated by the anode and cathode, which we got the paper separator saturated in electrolyte as well. Here, yeah, I done some tear down for the electrolytic capacitor. As you can see, inside here got like a kind of like snail shell uh, rounded, uh, which design is rounded like. And uh, it got the negative plate, aluminium oxide layer on the positive plate as well, and container with the electrolyte. Then, as you can see, each have different layer. As the first one, paper towel, positive plate, aluminium oxide, paper towel, negative plate, and electrolyte as well. As I go on deep to the electrolytic capacitor, it's it's simple, it's kind of simple, but it, it was smart invention. The next famous capacitor is ceramic disc capacitor, or known as tantalum capacitor. It got a protective coating. For the ceramic disc, which is dielectric, we got the electrode, which is the front plate, kind of front disc of the layer. Then we got a hole of king, which is for the connecting wire. Basically, this ceramic capacitor is just the capacitor is coated with ceramic. As this ceramic capacitor also got the uh, same polarity, which was for the positive and the negative. As we can see, the ceramic capacitor got the labels, which the brown part is for the temperature. Then you got the first significant figure, second significant figure. We got a multiplier. Then we got the line, which is the voltage, and J is which indicate the tolerance. Alright guys, let's do it. Let's check it up. Our electrolytic capacitor and ceramic capacitor here. Alright, so simply just switch on to capacitance mode here. Which is indicate like a one shorter and one higher. Which indicate this symbol, which is the capacitance symbol. So here's some organizer which is ceramic capacitor and electrolytic capacitor here. Ready rated each one of them. Each in their own compartment here. Each is the ceramic capacitor is in their own compartment. And you got the electrolytic as well. Ready rated which is own compartment in each in the organizer. So First, let's check the 
electrolytic capacitor let's say is check is 47 microfarad right simply just go to our multimeter here black leads to the negative and red leads to the positive okay okay the black leads to the shorter one and the red leads to the longer one so it's rated around 47.59 which uh, stated through here through the compartment here which is the uh, I take it from the 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitor so I put it back here right that's how you sort of organize a uh, capacitor into the organizer so let's check this which is the here this is much better so let's check one microfarad ceramic capacitor or tantalum capacitor here so as you know ceramic capacitor you got the same polarity so it's either way you can measure the leads to either of the legs of the capacitor ceramic capacitor so it's stated around 0 0.8 microfarad which is near with the one microfarad that I keep in my compartment right all right that's all for episode 7 which is about uh, capacitor let me know what I need to improve for me as well don't forget to like share and subscribe all right that's all for me See ya next time. Bye.